for the sketch, uh, now we have a common sketch module between Inspire and Hyperworks. So we are able to uh, transfer all of these tools that you can see here from the create and editing side from Inspire into Hyperworks. So these are all common tools. I'll talk about the differences later. So now sketch is supported as an entity in Hyperworks. So we can now create points, lines and uh, different shapes that are supported by Inspire. Uh, this is also supported with using a command star create entity. So sketch can be created using a command as well. Um, also, we do support sketch uh, creation from the model browsers uh, right mouse button. Now the sketching plane uh, is defined using the global reference planes. Uh, so the default origin is the global origin with X axis as the reference axis. Uh, this also can be defined using an existing geometry. So if, if you have an existing geometry and you want to take a reference of that existing geometry, for example, uh, you want to draw some sketch on a, a certain surface, you can do that. The main difference between the Inspire and Hyperworks X, as I talked about, are these three tools and on how you create these uh, sketches. So project and intersect uh, tools uh, you know, are used to create the sketches using the reference construction geometry that you will have uh, from your existing geometry. So again, these workflows are in particular to Hyperworks X that we have created and you know, I'll go over that uh, more in detail. So let's actually jump into a small uh, demo. So what uh, you will see that now we have added sketch as the whole ribbon menus. Uh, as I mentioned, these are coming exactly from Inspire. So these are um, you know, similar to Inspire. The only main difference that you will notice here is that in Inspire, you'll see the background geometry as you're sketching on top of it. Uh, due to some graphical limitations, we cannot do that. But uh, definitely when you use project and intersect, you will see uh, certain dotted lines as reference lines, you know, uh, based on how you uh, create it. And I'll go over that more in detail. Uh, you should also uh, notice under preferences and sketching, we have other options. The main option that you should be aware of is the realize options. So we have realize as none lines and surfaces. So when a certain sketch is created, if it forms a closed loop, uh, we can uh, create surfaces out of it or you can create lines. So based on your preferences, uh, when you exit out of sketch, uh, it will be realized as uh, geometry entities already for you. So you can define that uh, option here. And these are the options that I'll talk more about when we uh, get into the extract context. Uh, so let's keep it as realized as surfaces. As I mentioned from the a model browser itself, you can right click and create sketch. Uh, so that option is available. Otherwise, you can always go to new sketch. Uh, when you go to new sketch, it will give you uh, global planes uh, you, which you can choose from. Uh, so if I choose a plane, uh, you still have an ability to move this plane uh, also locate so with a plane manipulator that we have which is a standard one so let's choose this plane if i actually uh, look at the sketch now as i mentioned it takes the reference of the x direction and the the normal of the plane that you selected which uh, was the y one that we selected so all the details you can see it in the entity editor itself the legend is also created, which basically gives you an idea of, you know, what are the uh, constraints, what are the, you know, projected entities, intersected entities, if you have any, uh, what are underdefined entities, which are fully defined entities and so on. So you can, you know, with the color difference, you can uh, see it. So let's draw a simple sketch. So let me select uh, a circle again. Uh, these are similar to what we also have on the geometry side. Um, and if you're uh, familiar with the uh, Inspire, then uh, this is exactly similar. So you can just create a circle very easily using the, uh, the, uh, the radius. Um, from the lines, 
I can just easily create lines. Uh, giving some uh, length to it. And I can continue. As you can see that uh, from here. It gives you what it is constrained of. So if I select this and right mouse button, you will see all the options of you can either. Uh, so based on the entities itself, it will give you an open up for the constraints. So there are different types of constraints you can constrain your sketch with. So this is the horizontal constraint. So I can remove this. So I can move this line anywhere I want. Uh, for the vertical line, it will show up vertical constraint for this one as well. I can delete my constraints. I can make this line as construction line uh, and I'll, I'll talk about it more. So let's actually do that. So I'll select these all of these lines and right click and I'll say construction line. So you can see that now they have been converted into a construction line. And let's try to draw on these construction lines now. So we can take a reference of this and um, draw lines. Uh, this is again similar to our terminology where you know it has all kinds of uh, snaps which are available so I can create um, on on the circle. I can also get a tangency constraint here. Uh, you can see that. And, and and you will immediately see that it is give, showing you that it is constrained with the tangency, right? So I can uh, continue sketch. So let's look at you know, some of the, the other tools. Um, so let's say if you want to create a fillet, I can just select a point where I, want, I would like to place a fillet. It will give you uh, the, uh, the radius or the dimensions that you want to create a fillet with. And um, you can click on play, uh, easily create you know, fillets. The uh, other important thing that you want to uh, probably see is you know, offsetting. Right, so you can actually uh, do a single selection or a chain selection, you know, based on what you would like to offset with it. Right? So let's look at the single selection. So I can just uh, select a line and um, offset, provide an offset distance here. Same thing, uh, I can do it on the left side and provide an offset. Once I'm done with that, as you can see that uh, these are not really you know, forming any closed loop, so I can always use extend functionality and you know, quickly extend this uh, to intersect with the circle. Uh, you can see that the snaps makes it so easy, and since these are also constrained, uh, it becomes even much more easier to uh, just uh, extend them you know, vertically. I can um, also draw, let's say, another circle here. So now that you know there are different uh, uh, functionalities, let's also look at the mirror. Uh, so before that, let's draw something, some different shape. So I would like to draw, let's say, a rectangle here um, and use the mirror functionality. So I can choose my curves again. This is just a line formation, you know, with different constraints. So I can select all these uh, curves. I can select this as my axis and uh, click on play. So now you can see that the mirror constraint is also added. So whatever changes I make uh, to this, I should be able to get the same changes here. As you can see that if I uh, changes to the dimensions of this, I can, uh, you know, it also gets reflected. So now uh, that my sketch is complete, I can actually move to uh, either a different context or I can just exit out of this and you can see that as my preferences, it has already realized as surfaces. Um, and uh, if you don't like this type of realization, I can always go back to uh, extract context under geometry, click on unrealize, uh, select my sketch. So I can just select a sketch here and I say unrealize. Um, so now, uh, what I would like to show you is that if I select this sketch again, I have different options of realizing it as lines or realizing it as surfaces. I can also select using control. Uh, 
I can select different closed loops that I would like to realize. So if I let's say select all of this, I can also use shift to unselect certain areas and I can click and say realize these. Uh, you can see that I actually wanted to keep those lines and this is what the merge adjacent faces will do. Uh, that it has actually created one whole surface out of it. If I don't like uh, this, then I can uncheck this and, and do the same thing. And now you can see that uh, it, it will maintain uh, those lines for you. Uh, so now, uh, since my sketch is all you know good, I can always go back to our drag. For example, select all of these surfaces and uh, create you know solid out of it. 